I'm Mike Kinderleiter with PowerWash.com. Today we're going to talk about hose reels. Hose reels can be very beneficial because they can keep your hose neatly rolled up in a compact area on your trailer, on your truck, wherever you happen to be storing your equipment when you travel about. This particular hose reel has a locking mechanism on it so that when I get ready to unroll it, I take it out. And the other nice thing about this <laughs> is as I'm going down the road or I'm traveling around, I don't have to worry about this flowing or, or running out on me because it's mounted here on the back of the trailer. If I didn't have it on here in a locked position, this hose could be laying here and it could vibrate off. It could fall off the side. The, the boards that sometimes sit here on the back of the trailers that keep things in could bounce up and that hose could come out underneath it. I've had it happen, so I know, I know it can take place. So it's good to have a hose reel that'll lock. Now then the mounting of the hose reel on this particular machine's on the back. That works great in a lot of commercial applications. If you happen to be doing a lot of residential work, I like to see these hose reels on the side of the trailer where they run off to the side, generally on the passenger side, up toward the front or anywhere on this side because you're gonna pull up to do a lot of house cleaning or residential work you're going to be curbside going up to the customer's residence and you want to be able to roll that hose out going up toward that facility and then roll it back up when you're there instead of trying to run it down the street and then come back up the street to take your hose in there. Out on a commercial job we're generally moving the equipment around a lot so we want it off the back so that as we drive forward we can pull the hose along with us as we go do the job. Now then when I roll this hose out it's nice I always lay the end of it down there on the ground. A lot of times I see people grab the, the end of the hose and they just take off. Now what happens is this hose reel will end up rolling out faster than you can walk and it'll get junked up here and you got to come back, you got to fix it up, roll it down a little bit and then start rolling again. What I like to do is I like to start here and work my way back, leaving that end down there and just feed it out as I'm walking backwards. And depending on how fast it rolls off of that reel will determine how fast I walk with it. So if it rolls real quick, I can start really pulling it off and keeping up with the hose reel. <clears throat> and if you notice, if I'd have walked out, I'd have had to take twice as many steps. It's about a 100 foot hose here. I'd had to take twice as many steps to get out there instead of just going out 50 feet, this particular case, and coming back in. Again, another little time-saving tip to get you in and out of that job quicker. Quick couplers on my hose and my wand and my gun. Hook it up. Now I'm ready to start up the machine and start washing. Now at the end of the day, when I'm done doing my job, roll my hose back up. I like to wear the gloves. Not so much when I'm rolling it out, but I do like to wear them when I'm rolling it out for a couple of reasons. And especially on commercial jobs and when you're doing truck washing like we do a lot of you're going to get grease on these hose you're going to get all kinds of nasty stuff that you've been cleaning it's going to be on this hose so when you go to roll it up you need to guide it on here personal preference i like it to look neat and of course if it's neat the more hose you can get on the reel so as i'm rolling it up all that gunk that i've been cleaning on is all over this hose and it's just going to cover up my hand. You can see I got a little bit of grease on here now from some stuff that was done earlier. So I roll this back up, put it in place, put my lock on, make sure it captures. Now we're good. That's not coming off. We're good to go. <laughs> Another reason for rolling this hose all the way out, and you don't want to leave any on the reel, is if I rolled it halfway out and left about half the hose on here, each time I pulled and cycled that trigger, this hose shifts a little bit and it starts unraveling and it starts bunching up and you get little uh, pieces of a hose that get higher and lower and this whole thing starts expanding and unroll while it's still sitting on here. Now when I get done, I could come back and roll it up, but the thing that you have happen is if you don't unroll this hose reel all the way, this section of hose stays kinked on here and it, and it goes under a lot of stress <laughs> with the pulling and releasing of the trigger this 
goes under pressure, pops off, goes under pressure, pops off, and you get a lot of action and stuff. And you're gonna blow out your hoses a lot right here if you don't unroll your hose reel all the way. Again, I'm Mike Kinderleiter with PowerWash.com. That's this week's video spray tip. If there's anything we can do for you, please don't hesitate to give us a call. We carry equipment, supplies, chemicals and detergents, along with training. You can reach us at 1-800-433-2113 or look us up on the web at PowerWash.com. Thank you, have a great week, and we'll see you next time.